What's up guys, everything iPad Pro here. Yes, that is a stack of boxes, and yes, I am recording this intro on my iPhone to save some time. And without wasting much more of it, welcome to my iPad OS performance test. I've installed the iPad OS 14 beta on my A9X, A10X, and A12X slash Z equipped iPad Pros to give you an idea of what performance is like and will be like with the final release of this operating system. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment, if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm like said, and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, I'd also appreciate it if you click the bell icon and enable all notifications as it does help the channel out a lot. All right, first up, we got the 2016 9.7 inch iPad Pro. You can tell by the camera bump and the flash on the back here. Uh, and this tablet rocks the A9X, just like the 2015 12.9 inch iPad Pro did. So performance is gonna be similar. That's why I'm choosing this one because this smaller iPad fits in my camera frame better. But anyway, let me unlock with Touch ID. And as you can see, the initial animation is a bit choppy, but I'm not going to judge the whole experience just by that. We're going to actually use the tablet here, so swiping back and forth. As you can see, it is pretty smooth here, and I'll tell you, I am used to 120 hertz, so I'm not going to be, you know, overly judgmental because, you know, this is half of the screen refresh rate that I am used to personally. We can check out the widgets over here, which are pretty smooth. We can do spotlight search. That's nice. Typing is a little bit, actually, no, it's not delayed at all, which is really nice to see on an older device here. Um, we can try scribble with the Apple Pencil, which I have connected so I can write, you know, hello. And there you go, the OCR works pretty well, even with my horrible handwriting. We'll actually open up notes here and do the handwriting to text feature, so I'll open up notes. And as you can see here, I was scribbling a little bit earlier today, so I'll write something else like, hello, today, oh God, is Thursday. And then I can use the selection tool I'll choose that, I'll make a circle around this, it'll select that, and then I can, of course, copy this as text, and we'll go back to the home screen, pull up Spotlight, and then I will paste that into here. And that worked flawlessly, as you can see. Let's open up Safari real quick, and although my Wi-Fi is horrible down here, we'll open up a new tab, we'll load the Apple website. And that works nicely. We can scroll through here. I'll actually go to, I'll look up Apple News on Google. And even with my horrible Wi-Fi down here, we're loading up web pages very nicely. How about I open up another app here? Let's open up, I don't know, um, the Notes app on the right here. And maybe I'll like move it over here. Let's just say I wanted to take notes on an article so I can press this and I can like zoom in and scroll down, you know, Apple reveals new developer technologies. So let's just say I was writing notes. Very smooth experience here, as you can see. We can resize the windows. And as I'm waiting for Geekbench 5 to load up here, I'll demo some other animations here, like the notification panel, which is very smooth. Same thing with Control Center, no lag at all. And usually if a device is failing, these animations will be more choppy. But yeah, smooth here. And Geekbench 5 just loaded up, so we can reference just how powerful this device is, iPad Pro 9.7 inch. We have the A9X two gigs of RAM, and we'll do a CPU benchmark here real quick. And here are the scores, 635 single core, 1163 multi-core, two gigs of RAM once again with the A9X. And although this is definitely underpowered to the newer iPad Pro chipsets, I'm still very impressed with the level of you know performance and smoothness this device offers, even with a beta version of its operating system, iPad OS here. And I'll end our demo with this device by toggling Siri and seeing how smooth it is. Open Safari. So yeah, once again, you can see it right here, very smooth. Next up, we got my 2017 iPad Pro 10.5 inch with the A10X inside here. And it has, of course, the same specs as its bigger 12.9 inch brother. But once again, because I wanted to fit this into the frame, I chose the smaller tablet here because I wanted to use my sharper fixed focal length lens opposed to my wide angle one. But that's not why we're here. Let me unlock my iPad here real quick. With Touch ID, it's plenty quick. And as you can see, or if you don't remember, I'll remind you, we got ProMotion here, which is super nice, even all these years later. So we can demo some animations real quick quick so I can scroll through the widgets very smooth spotlight search we can do the notification panel we can do um, control center all very very nice the app switcher here we can scroll through that um, I'll actually quit the apps here so we can see how app launch times are let's open up Safari like we did I can load the Apple website real quick very smooth we can do multitasking I'll open up let's just say files for right now so I'll drag that over here we can resize some windows maybe uh, and then we can quit it of course and what else can we do oh we can use some apple pencil features here so i've connected this and we can do the scribble feature so i can also write hello and it's also oh my handwriting's bad we'll try hello again there we go very smooth there's no delay there we can also do the ocr stuff within notes so i can try to write my name and see if it will you know find it so i can say hello 
my name is Noah. That's like the neatest I've written my name in like a while. So we'll select the text. We can copy it as text here and we'll do it in spotlight. So let's just do that paste hello my name is Nawa. so really it's my handwriting that's doing this people called me out in another video when i said oh like the ocr isn't as good as we thought but yeah it's just my handwriting that's bad but yeah for the most part it works very nicely here and very smoothly with the 10.5 inch ipad and with that said let's actually reference some geekbench scores i'll actually run a test within ipad os 14 here okay so the results are very interesting here i think that the scores are worse than that of the 9.7 inch ipad pro but honestly i'm not concerned because if you check my test that i did in february with the previous version obviously you can see a performance jump you know 845 in single core and 2295 in multi-core so there's definitely a performance jump between the a9x and the a10x i just think that these scores are either a fluke in my testing or it's just a result of this operating system being a beta and it's not quite optimized yet because i would assume apple will tweak that later possibly with the public beta or the final release in the fall so yeah that's kind of funny and interesting but i wouldn't worry too much because from what i've seen the performance on here is just excellent and again i'll wrap up my demo of this this device by toggling Siri. Open camera. And finally, we'll end things on the iPad Pro 2018 slash 2020 models. And I say that because the A12X and the A12Z inside are effectively the same in regard to their performance. Like Geekbench scores are pretty much identical here. And of course, everyday performance follows suit as well. So we'll demo some animations here. Of course, it's top-notch hardware. It's the most recent hardware. It's going to be super smooth. And I'll quit apps that are in the background here. And yeah, everything is smooth as it can be. So we'll open up Safari here real quick. We'll do some Apple newsing, as I call it. We can, you know, scroll through here, click on a story, load that up right quick. And as we have that loaded up, I can open up another app. We'll do good notes, let's just say. We'll, you know, open up. Oh, I have my calc notes open or calc practice. So let's just say I was doing something. I can pull my pencil off here and write. You know, of course, there's no delay with that. We can resize the windows here. Let's toggle Siri. What's the weather like right now? Funny, that took a little bit longer than I thought. So yeah, we get this little notification here. I love the fact that Siri is low key now. That's so great. So I can dismiss that. Uh, let's quit the app. And yeah, the animations are of course perfect as you could expect. This device is only a few months old. I mean, hell, the iPhone 11 Pro is older than the iPad Pro 2020. And with that said, I'll open up Geekbench and we'll look at the scores here. So we'll go to history, CPU, and I just did a test today, so we can open that up, June 2020. And we got, you know, scores that we should expect. You know, 1128 single core, 4447 multi-core here. We'll compare that to a test that I did in March, let's just say. So we'll, yeah, pretty much the same here, although multi-core is a bit lower than I expected. But yeah, I have a feeling that with time, Apple will optimize these betas for the older hardware here. And of course, they're gonna optimize the operating system for the best processor first, but there you have it. That is iPadOS installed on the, you know, once again, 2018 and 2020 iPad Pros and the 2017 iPad Pro 10.5 inch and the 12.9 inch technically and the 9.7 inch here. Um, I'll probably make a video talking about whether or not you should install the betas on your iPads. And I will also be doing a test with some older iPhones as well, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 6S, and the iPhone 8, all of which I have installed uh, the beta on. As you can see here, we got widgets on this home screen and this home screen. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. I'd really appreciate it. Once again, if you'd leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.